Welcome to Supernatural Travels with me, your host, Libba Bray. Friends, anybody can take you on a tour of New York City. Sure, they can show you where to get the best hot dog, a great cup of coffee. They can even show you where to kick up your heels. But how many people can show you the other New York? the creepy New York. Let me take you on a tour of the creepy New York you will find in this book, The Diviners by <laughs> Libba Bray. It's funny, the author and I have the same name. It's like, oh, what a coincidence. We're standing outside one of New York City's most famous apartment buildings, the Dakota. This was the inspiration for the Bennington, which is where Evie, her Uncle Will, Jericho, Theta, Henry, and Mabel all live. And the reason that I was inspired by the Dakota is I've long been obsessed with it ever since I saw Rosemary's Baby. I was a worrisome child. But then my mother shouldn't have cut my hair like Mia Farrow when I was four because I think like the dye was cast. Now we're at one of the most amazing places in all of New York City the New York Public Library, which comes into play in The Diviners when Evie comes to do some research about the creepy occult killings that are taking place. Welcome to 158th Street and Riverside Drive. This part is so spooky. <laughs> we are at the site of the former Wheelock House which was the inspiration for Naughty John's creepy charnel house. The minute I saw it with like those ivy covered walls and the creepy statuary, I just thought, oh my God, that is the perfect place to stage a bunch of grisly ritual murders. Like you do. Thank you so much for joining me today on Supernatural Travels with Libba Bray. I hope today's adventures here in creepy New York have really lifted your spirits. <laughs> That's a pun. You're welcome. Adieu.